Do you ever feel guilty for what you ate? Do you ever eat so much that you're mad at yourself? Or sometimes when you eat, do you feel like you have to make up for it, fix it, or compensate? Hi there, Eve here, and today what we're gonna be talking about is food forgiveness. Because I want you to make peace with the fact that sometimes eating isn't gonna go the way that you want it to. It doesn't mean it's time to throw in the towel, be mad at yourself, or go eat all day, every day, and everything. But it's learning how to develop the skill on how to forgive yourself when eating doesn't go the way that you want it to. So it's a learnable skill, and I'm very excited to talk about it today. So instead of repenting or thinking that you have to fix it or compensate, you don't want to do that because that actually sets you up for more overeating and more food obsession. Instead, I'm going to share with you four quick tips that you could use right now or next time the eating doesn't go the way you want it to. Snap number one is to tell yourself it's okay. It's actually expectable that sometimes eating isn't going to go the way that you want it to. So make peace with the fact. In fact, so-called normal eaters sometimes have mistakes in their eating too. It's just they deal with it differently. Step number two is don't restrict and don't make plans to restrict. Now this is an important step because if you start to restrict or if you start to deprive yourself, go kill yourself at the gym or something like that, your body and mind actually start to feel deprived, which is more likely to enhance the food obsession and make you more likely to overeat again or make the same so-called mistake again. So you don't wanna make that mistake. So don't restrict and don't even make plans to restrict. In fact, the third tip that I want you to do is to actually plan your next meal or snack because a big mistake people make is they tell themselves oops I overate or I ate too much or I ate the wrong thing I'm never gonna eat again and guess what they get hungry again they're not expecting it and guess what happens they make another so-called mistake with their eating but I want you to not make that mistake instead I actually want you to plan to get hungry in the next three to four hours so you know to expect that and you know what's going on and finally the final bonus tip is to go ahead and ask yourself what can I learn from this situation what fed into my overeating or what fed into this craving? What happened? Did you let yourself get too hungry? Did you ignore some feelings that you had? Or is there something that you wish you could have said but you didn't? Try to tune in and find out and learn from that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Happy eating, everybody. Bye.